welcome again to um, Arthur Brown Photography. Uh, today I'm going to talk about um, uh, macro flash uh, yet again. Uh, you may recall that um, in the past I've done one or two uh, videos about the um, uh, the Yong Nuo macro ring flash. Um, as I've had quite a lot of success with this, but unfortunately I did have a uh, uh, a slight accident with it um, a few weeks ago. Oh, I made the mistake of putting it into my uh, camera bag with the uh, with the flash unit still attached to the camera uh, and uh, it was in a fairly soft camera bag and I think something must have got dropped on it in the car and it uh, actually snapped the um, uh, the hot shoe attachment uh, completely away from the um, from the flash unit uh, and uh, lots of wires and springs and things flew everywhere, so uh, it uh, it was completely bust. <laughs> so I started to look around for a replacement, um, looking uh, upon uh, on Amazon, uh, where I got the original one from, uh, and the you know, price has gone quite a bit, almost ninety pounds. So I thought, well, I thought I'd look what else is on the market. So I looked a few others, a uh, nice Kenro one for about one hundred and thirty something, and a, a, a Miki one as well, and I've, I've bought camera um, accessories from both those companies before and they've been pretty good but when I actually looked at the detail it actually appeared to be the same flash gun that, that but um, uh, just rebranded uh, so I started to wonder whether you know it's done like generic macro flash and you know all the companies are just uh, putting their own labels on it so I did some more research and I came um, uh, across another one by by New Air uh, again another company I've bought bits and pieces from before uh, which was about thirty pounds cheaper than the uh, the young newer replacement, um, so I decided to buy one, buy one of those um, just to give it a try, uh, and it arrived today. So um, I won't go through and bore you with unboxing because those top things drove me mad. Uh, but basically, the um, uh, uh, the new air flash gun uh, is pretty similar to the young newer one. So it doesn't come in the, in the fun seat box. The uh, the young newer one came in a nice case, uh, and I can see elsewhere they've uh, where they've saved money. Is that the um, uh, the adapter rings for the lenses uh, with the newer one are um, although you get plenty of them that are actually plastic, whereas the uh, the rings for the um, uh, the rings for the young newer one were, were metal. Although I will say there's a great range of sizes supplied with this stuff. Uh, uh, with this model, money I do still have the, uh, uh, the metal rings from the Young Nuo system, so I've got the choice of which ones they use now. Uh, in terms of the, uh, uh, the flash unit itself, uh, it, it's it's very similar in uh, in shape uh, and appears to have all the same controls and display on the back of it. Um, so whether it's going to be any good or not, I'll give it a try. So, um, I'll say I'll. Uh, I'll try out a few shots on this and uh, uh, report back to you in a few minutes. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, that few minutes has turned out to be uh, a, a few weeks. Uh, it had been, been my intention actually to um, to go and do some uh, to some some photography out on location with the um, ring flash. I was going to go up to the Peak District. Uh, which is close to where I live, and uh, see if I could take some photographs of uh, wildflowers and emerging leaves and things in this nice spring weather. Uh, however, we got the uh, the coronavirus lockdown, uh, and uh, I haven't really been able to do very much uh, for the last few weeks. I have, however, uh, taken some some shots in and around the house um, uh, with the uh, new M macro flash, and uh, uh, I shall show you now. I've got a um, uh, a picture of a rose that I took here, um, and there's a slightly different view of uh, uh, another rose in the same bunch. And then I've got a, a picture of a, a close-up of a um, compact flashcard uh, that was on my desk. Uh, and then I took a picture into my uh, uh, cactus uh, terrarium. Again. Uh, showing the close-up capabilities of the lighting. Now I'm in the process of doing um, a photographic project at the moment. For the next stage is I'm actually going to use the uh, the, the um, 
the new uh, macro flash unit. Uh, and that is I'm um, um, doing a series of photographs on uh, vintage tools. Over the years I've inherited various packages of vintage tools from both from my father and from one of my wife's uncles uh, and I'm um, cataloguing these at the moment uh, and uh, trying to do uh, artistic photographs of them. Uh, and for today's session I'm going to use um, the Voigtlander 90mm f3.5 lens uh, along with the, um, the new air uh, macro flash uh, to do some photographs of a, uh, a smaller uh, item uh, within the tool collection. Right, the item I'm photographing today is uh, just a, um, an old uh, bit drilling holes. Uh, it's quite small so I'm going to use a, um, a macro lens uh, and a macro flash to, to take the photographs. Now I'm using the Voigtlander lens. Uh, now that actually comes with a, a special um, macro close-up attachment. Um, but that again has an adapter which reduces the uh, filter diameter from 52 to 30 uh, 39 I think it is yeah so uh, to be able to use the 52 millimeter adapter for the ring flash and then I have to have a further adapter which brings it from 39 back up to 52 which I'm going to, to screw on uh, and then this this then attaches to the front of the uh, the Voigtlander lens uh, it actually has a little a little spacer in it as well to uh, get the, the, the focal length correct uh, for the lens itself. So. Right, I've got the Canon 5DS uh, with a Voigtlander 90mm lens. I've got the close-up attachment, macro attachment on the lens and I've got the macro flash attached to the front. Flash units on top. I'm going to be using the ETTL setting. Uh, I'm using an aperture of f22 uh, and a shutter speed of 160. I've got the um, exposure compensation on the camera and the flash uh, at zero at the moment. Uh, I'll probably bracket uh, the exposures um, to try and get the, uh, uh, the correct exposure uh, as I go along. Right, I'm just going to underexpose one one stop just to see what difference it makes. Yeah, it's got a nice dark background on that as well now, so uh, I've tried it, I've got some different angle now. Oh, I've still got one one stop under exposure on this now, so it's slightly further away. For a little bit dark, so I'm going to go back in and the exposure compensation on the flash back to zero. Uh, refocus out there. This is a manual focus lens, of course. But I do have focus confirmation in the camera. Alright, so I'm doing one that way around. Okay, you can probably hear the camera beeping, and that is the focus confirmation beep. It's going to go. In really close again. Yeah, that's fine. Right, we'll go and put those into Photoshop and see what we can do with them. Right, um, so first of all I'm going to open this up in um, uh, Photoshop and uh, it'll then open up automatically into the uh, uh, the camera raw filter. So I'm just going to play around with the contrast highlights uh, and the shadows just to get a nice level of black and white without the whites being blown out completely. Um, I'm going to actually give it a slight bit of texture, a slight bit of clarity, a slight bit of vibrance. Uh, and I'll open the, uh, the image uh, in Photoshop.
Oh, I was not doing this editing actually. I'm, I'm f filming the uh, screenshots on my uh, on my Mac, which is uh, is a bit slower than the uh, computer I usually use for video editing. So, right, there's a nice circular so reason reasonable resolution. That's quite a big file because it's uh, the five um, five DS. Um, it's got a 51 megapixel resolution, so it produces a fairly big file. Um, I'm just going to zoom in on the turn and just tidy up some of the uh, bits of dust and dirt that were actually on the uh, um, the black sheet that I was using as a background. So um, I'll just use the um, the healing brush uh, in Photoshop just to uh, to touch up. So there's, the, there's a few little bits of, uh, of uh, dust and dirt here that. Uh, To do with uh, just removing from the image. Right, so we've got a fairly nice image there now. So I'll save that um, and then I'll reduce the image down to um, uh, 19. 20 by, by 1080 so it'll fit nicely into the uh, into the video stream. Well right then so I'm just going to display the the, uh, the three images that I chose uh, from this session. What's the verdict on the, uh, the the new air macro flash? Is it as good as the old young Nemo one? Well I've got to say from my perspective as someone who Occasionally uses a macro flash for, you know, macro photography or doing um, um, product photography as well. I find them quite useful. Uh, yeah, it's okay. You know, it was thirty pounds cheaper than a replacement Yongmuo um, flash gun. But one thing I would say is the the fact that the um, the adapter ring is a plastic with the new Air one, whereas the Yongmuo ones were metal. It doesn't make a difference. Um, the, uh, I've uh, Found that that I've already stripped the threads on the, on the, on one of the adapters, which is the sixty two millimeter one that goes on uh, the Sigma Art lens. It, you know, uh, it, because the plastic is pretty poor quality. Uh, but apart from that, you know, the um, uh, the, the, the flash itself uh, works fine, and it, it you know illuminates well at the close distances that you're using it at. One thing I will say that both flash guns. Claim to have um, a guide number of 14, but I would say that comparing the two, um, the young new one was slightly more powerful. And the fact that um, I probably had to uh, to um, reduce the uh, the um, exposure compensation on the flash gun um, one or two stops using the young new o, where in a similar situation with the new air, um, either zero or minus one was about right. But again, at the kind of very close distances, I mean, you know, we're talking you know, two to four to six centimeters. Um, it, it doesn't really make a lot of difference. You know, whether the new air flash gun will last as long uh, as the, as the um, uh, young newer one didn't, because <laughs> as I say, I broke it quite easily. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. The only alter other alternative is to, uh, is to save up and buy a Sigma or a Canon unit, but we're probably looking at at six to eight times the price, if not more. You know, if I was a dentist or someone who, you know, sold coins or something, it might be worthwhile. But for occasional macro photography, I'd say that new air flash, uh, macro flash gun is perfectly adequate. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope we didn't go on for too long. Uh, look out for my next video and bye for now.